Solana and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we're gonna be exploring the Marina District. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I post content about what it's like to navigate life and dating in San Francisco. So if you're thinking about moving to San Francisco or you live in San Francisco, or maybe you're just single navigating the dating world, wherever the case may be, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below because I think you'll really like it here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and explore the Marina. want to admit that I have a big love-hate relationship with the marina. I personally don't like the marina just because of the type of people that it attracts. And douche. At the same time, the marina is absolutely beautiful and there are so many amazing and fun things to do, eat, drink, and see here, which makes sense as to why it may attract the kind of crowd that it does. But hear me out, I'm gonna do my best to not list all the trendy and hipstery places because I know that will piss off the locals watching this video, but I do want to have a good mix and variety. And so that everyone can find something that they can enjoy. All right, let's go to the first spot. I'm outside of Palace of Fine Arts. This is one of the most common things that people like to do in the marina. I've mentioned this spot on my channel so many times and there's probably a reason for that because this truly is a timeless place to come to in San Francisco. So you can go ahead, walk around the cute little pond, go around the dome, and take lots of pictures here. This is such an Instagrammable spot. You'll even see people take their engagement, their wedding pictures here. So I really recommend that you come to the Palace of Fine Arts. It's a great spot to bring your kids if you have any and just enjoy this beautiful park here in the city. So other awesome things that you can do in the marina is to visit either the Fort Mason Center or the little great meadow adjacent in the park or the Marina Green which is the beautiful open grassy plain on the water right off of Marina Boulevard. Both are awesome spots to sit out, have a picnic, lay out, and catch up with some friends when we're not in a global pandemic, of course. This is a great place to get great views of the water, the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, and more. And then also every Sunday at Fort Mason, there's a really cool farmer's market that you can check out. And then there's also Off the Grid, which is basically a time where a bunch of food trucks come out on the weekend and it's during the warmer months but it's a great way to again get some good food and to meet up with people and have a good time out on the open grassy areas of the marina district another great place that i really recommend that you check out is the wave organ on the edge of the saint francis yacht club the wave organ is this wave activated sculpture that was designed by peter richards and george gonzalez so when the waves hit the pipes then it will produce this beautiful sound like an organ, which is why they call it the wave organ. Also, while you're at Fort Mason, there's a really awesome coffee shop and bar that I totally recommend you check out called The Interval. It basically looks like a bookstore, but it's a coffee bar. It's really, really cute. I think it's a very unique place that you won't find anywhere else in the city. Right now, they're only doing curbside orders, but when we're not in a global pandemic, then it's a perfect place to sit and relax and maybe even go on a really cool date. Okay, so I'm along the side Chestnut Street, which is one of the popular streets in the marina you have tons of shopping there are bars there's plenty of food and coffee options some of my favorite spots out on chestnut street in terms of getting drinks i highly recommend that you check out the dorian it is such a cute quaint spot and they are doing outdoor seating during the pandemic if you want to grab a drink or have a nice boozy brunch as well that's totally recommended. I really like Coffee Roastery to get some coffee. There's also a Starbucks Reserve if you wanna get coffee out on Chestnut as well. In terms of shopping, there are plenty of shops. You got Gap, you got Pottery Barn, you got the Apple Store. Some shops that I really recommend that you check out is Amor Vert and Two Skirts. Those are really cute places. Some other great spots for food is Blackwood, A16, and then the Tipsy Pig, which is a great spot for brunch. I recently went there, got the Huevos Rancheros. Mm, chef's kiss, so delicious and so savory. Also, I really like a lot of ice cream places out on the Chestnut Street. Over the Moon Creamery, which is a great option if you want to get ice cream. So once you're past Chestnut Street and then you go up Fillmore, you will pass Balboa Cafe, which is a really awesome classic place here in the marina slash the Cow Hollow area. And now we're gonna go on to Union Street, which is where I'm currently standing on the corner of Union and Fillmore. Union is popping for a lot of shopping. You got Sephora, you got a really awesome local store that I love going to called Ambiance. You got Lululemon, 
you have Lush, you have Eurasia Interiors. There's lots of local businesses that you can go shopping on for Union Street. In terms of food, there are so many amazing food options here on Union Street. You got Rome Artisan Burger, you got the Brixton, which is a fantastic place to get brunch and then it turns into a bar at night. You also have Perry's, which is a really cute little restaurant. I love their brunch and I highly recommend that you get the French toast challah because mm, it is so good. If you are a vegetarian or vegan, I recommend you check out Vegan Picnic. That is such a great spot. I've mentioned them in my Vegan Eats video a while back, so check that place out. For a great coffee place, I highly recommend Wrecking Ball Coffee Roasters. I've mentioned them in a few of my videos, and I'm gonna mention them again because it's such a great place, and again, you can't go wrong with that really cute pineapple wallpaper. And then finally, a great place to get drinks, which is where I'm about to go right now and get some alcohol, is The Palm House. They have a fantastic drink menu. I love their happy hour, and plus their sweet potato fries are so good. It's a really cute spot. Palm House definitely has outdoor dining right now, so if you are stuck in your house during this pandemic, I recommend that you get out, grab a drink, and go to the Palm House. Did I miss your favorite spot? Because this is a pretty subjective list of places to see, eat, and drink, and do in the marina. If I miss your favorite spot, comment down below and mention it so other people can check it out. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.